Hello and welcome to this little thing. I don't know what to call it. Basically, it's a few days for my exam, so I thought I'd quickly like give an idea of what I do. Maybe you care, maybe you don't, but it's just a bit of relaxing, calm advice to myself that I'm gonna put out to the world at some point in my life. Um, I just wanted to jump on here and say that these video clips are taken in August 2020. And it was basically me doing a little vlog or trying to like calm down or something the weekend before my second year exam. So huge apologies for looking like absolute egg. That's what I look like during exam season. And I know that a lot of first years and second years have their exams coming up. So this is just a little bit of kind of older sister advice, if you want to call it like that, because I've done exams, I've passed them, I've failed them and I've learned from them. The key thing is, is the weekend before exams, you really can't revise anything new. I remember always just feeling like really tense um, and not being able to revise new information. But I just use the weekend to consolidate things I already know and like appreciate new information. That's how I look at it so that I don't like stress myself out just so that you don't like waste any time. So more importantly, this video is for people who use Anki or flashcards or they kind of have like summary tables and stuff is to just kind of relax and look through whatever you've learned and kind of reflect on the things that you do know really well and focus on the things that you don't know. Um, much about. Basically I kind of have it up here, well I, not kind of, I actually have the list of all the flashcards here and what you can do is you can look at the whole collection of flash flashcards and basically what you can do is you can flag um, some of these, so different colours, so there's red, orange, um, green and blue and I do it according to the module and as you scroll through them these colours pop up, so maybe I'll give you an example of what goes on, so function of Sertoli cells, spermatogenesis, function of superior alveolar nerve, T, because I don't know this because it's taking me time, but I think it innervates your gums and your teeth, double check, yeah, car carry sensation from the upper teeth and gums, and I'm not going through everything because a lot of it should be in my long term memory, should be able to recognise it as well because of the constant revision process that's happened over the past six to eight weeks. But it's just these harder ones that I think that I'm not happy with. If I just go through that and I can just say it out loud or say it in my head, it just makes you feel better that at least you know that you've covered the things that you're not sure about. You can either use like a traffic light system, looking at which ones are the worst, so like highlight that red, which ones you're okay with but not sure, highlight green. Uh, green, I meant yellow or orange. Um, and then the ones that you're happy with, you can highlight that in green. And we can go into more detail, but this is basically what I do. At this point in time so it's just like a nice way to kind of end the day um, and I'll probably do the same thing tomorrow and the more you revisit it uh, the more likely it's going to stick as well so that's what I'm kind of doing today for my exam today was a bit of a funny one um, I think I got like a really bad like tension headache because I was really really stressed for no reason so then I got myself a Domino's which was nice and I enjoyed that veggie supreme for the mandems out there who like veggie supreme my heart goes out to you. Ultimately, just be realistic. Like, you can't expect yourself to do a 10 hour shift of revision the weekend before your final exams of med school. If you're feeling really rubbish, go on a walk or order a pizza or eat ice cream, do what makes you happy or do some exercise as well, just so that you are stress free. So another resource that I can direct you to is the Hippocampus podcast and I'll definitely link it down in the description box below. I don't know if you know this already but I'm actually a part of this podcast and it started in lockdown, I think in July or August, I can't quite remember, but it's nearly been a year and it's just a few medical students and a medical lecture at Leicester Medical School who are basically talking about revision, revision techniques, how to de-stress. So we've currently got two seasons out and we've just launched the third season and it's very, very exciting. I forgot what I was gonna say now. If you do want more videos like this and you like this video, you know what to do. Please can you subscribe and like and comment and share this with someone who might need this video. Um, so yeah. The most important thing you need to remember about medical school is you are never going to remember everything that you're taught because medicine is so endless. So that's the key thing that you need to remind yourself. Try and learn bits of everything, but you don't need to go into too much detail unless it's a very important thing. I think it's quite difficult to gauge what's important and what's not important, but basically don't stress out and I think you'll be fine.